Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. Sorry, I don't have my mic, but I will have it again very soon. I just have to order a piece. So here we go. We are going to get into cherimoya today, how to tell when it's ripe, what it tastes like, and I was going to try it too. Please, a little taste. Okay. I know how it tastes like. You've never had one this good. So just so you guys know, my voice is a little fucked up because I just got back from the Raw Beauty Retreat. Here's a few things that were left over. Um, if anybody needs any jalapenos, send me an email. I don't know why <laughs> we have so many jalapenos in this house. But uh, we just have a few things left over. A few black sapote, jicama, uh, which I'm excited to make uh, jicama fries in the dehydrator. Somebody at the retreat taught me a recipe. Shout out, Jen. So I'm excited about that. And we got some oranges, breadfruit, some random stuff. But let's get into the cherimoya. Okay, so everybody at the retreat absolutely loved cherimoya. And these are super special because they're in season, they're ripe, and they're phenomenal. So when you go to the store, you want to look for a cherimoya that is green, mostly green. Do not buy. You paying attention, Ola? You know what? My best friend and I are getting a divorce, and I'm trying to teach her the fruity lifestyle before we leave each other. But, okay, she wants to... Okay. Because, you know, I eat fruit, and I'm cute. But she eats shit, so that's why nothing fits. But anyway, okay, let's focus. So basically, um, what did you say? Oh, uh, can I show you on camera? You look really beautiful. I don't know if you see the camera. You're a model, though. I'm never in your mind. Okay, when you go to the store and you get a cherimoya, you're gonna find this in the Asian markets. You're not gonna find this in the regular food stores, okay? You're gonna look for one that's green mostly. The most important part is the texture. So you're gonna, not the texture, the feel of it, right? So there is a smell, but the feel of the cherimoya is most important. It needs to feel like an avocado. If it's harder than an avocado ripe, it's not ready yet, okay? You can buy it hard, but if it's super soft, it's rotten, okay? So these are all super ripe. Um, it kind of feels like velvety. Oh, I got a little cut here. Don't pay attention to that. Um, also, don't look at my nails, but let's open up the cherimoya. What I like to do is I like to cut it in half, just like that, okay? And then I like to just cut it into slices. It is so, so, so yummy. I never liked it until I got a good one. Shout out Sherry, I know this is your favorite fruit. So, oh, what, do you wanna try it? It's really good. After, After okay. So, you're gonna open it up. No, but not this good. Why do you not wanna show your face on TV, Jeanette? Cause I look fucked up. <clears throat> Cause I just ran a beauty retreat. So you don't get beautiful. And even though I'm retreat. more beautiful than ever, I look fucked up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Mm, mm, mm. There's a few seeds in here, but this is one of the original fruits, so it's not hybridized. That means it has seeds, and it's really, really good. It tastes like a banana, pineapple, strawberry, kiwi all at once. I, I really cannot describe this, but the women that came to my retreat. They know. It's so freaking good. And I hope that you get a cherimoya very, very soon. And if you have land, then then consider planting the cherimoya seeds so you can grow more. Love you guys. And even if you don't have land, just start it in your apartment. Just start. Because one of the best things we could do is grow our own food. I love you guys. I absolutely had one of the best weekends of my entire life. I'll be filming videos about it. I'll be sharing videos. I took a lot of videos, a lot of pictures. I'll be sharing lots of stuff. I had one of the best weekends of my life at the retreat, and I've already started planning the next one. So the next one's going to be June, the end of June 2025. It's going to be mango season here in Florida, and I am super excited. So I had such a good weekend that I'm already planning the next one. Um, so if you're interested in going, um, I'll keep you posted. Send me an email. I'll put you on the wait list. JD at MissFitVegan.com. Um, one thing I did want to share. So y'all know how fruit is like my number one food, right? Dried fruit is like my number one kryptonite. Okay. So let me put this to the side because I know I should film a different video on this, but fuck it. So, Ava, oh, where's the macadamia nut butter? I need to show them. Okay, guys. So at my retreat, I ordered two boxes of these dates. Um, I do not work for this company. 
It is formerly known as sevenhotdates.com, but now it is called the Bautista Family Organic Date Ranch from California. Look, it says seven hot dates right there. Certified organic, the perfect date. Guys, I made caramel. Thank you, Lala. I was going to show them. I made caramel with these dates, and I swirled it into pistachio vanilla and ice cream, and everybody lost their mind. If you were there, then you know. And I just want to show you these dates, which I'm kind of upset at my women because I told everyone at the retreat to take as many dates home as possible. I gave them Ziploc bags, and I told them to take as many home as possible. But we had women from different countries, so I think they were really nervous. I had someone from Canada, and I think they were really nervous. Um to take stuff on the plane because it was going to go to waste. They might throw them away. But I got the variety wet pack. So I got the Deglet Noir. I got the honey dates. They are vegan. Uh, Holloway. I got the Kajwari. The Zahidi. Whoa. The Zahidi and the, of course, the Majules. Now, these are not like regular dates. I wish Awa could try one on camera, but she's busy eating her, you know, cooked food. No, no, no. That's okay. We're used to you. My community. Everyone say hi, Awa. Can I show you on camera? You look really beautiful. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she wakes up like this. She literally wakes up like this. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, I live with a model. But um, so I they're used to you. Like they're used to you and your beeping noises. Um, <laughs> but I just want you guys to know, if you ever order these dates, you're in for a real treat because they melt in your mouth. And what I did at the retreat with my women is we took the dates. Because, you know, I don't really do too many recipes. But we took the dates and we took the pit out and we put macadamia nut butter in. So this is raw sprouted, stone ground, organic macadamia nut butter. And that's all you need. So let me just show you how to do it. I'm gonna make a little dessert for Awa for later. And she's gonna love me so much. She's gonna name her firstborn child Net. That's how, that's how good these fucking dates are with the macadamia nut butter. Okay, so you take the pit out. Oh, it's, you don't even need to make a, Listen, you don't need to make cheesecakes. You don't need to. We did make stuff at the Raw Beauty Retreat, okay? So we did make banana cinnamon rolls, which everybody loved. But we did make parfaits and stuff like that. But, like, you don't need to. Trust me. So you take some of this macadamia nut butter. This is all you need. And then, you know, if you want, you put, you, you chop up some pistachios or almonds and you just sprinkle them on top. And that's the most delicious, decadent dessert of your life. You don't need any crazy recipes. You don't need a dehydrator. You don't need to get fancy. I'm making a mess, but it's delicious. It's a delicious mess. Mm, mm. That's the first thing I'm eating all day today. A date with macadamia nut butter. Oh, Lord. Um, it's going to be an interesting day when you start off with this. So there's worse things in the world. Um, my voice is crazy because I was up till 3 in the morning last night cleaning the Airbnb and, you know, getting everything out of the retreat house and I cannot wait. I'm definitely, I'm probably going to do the same retreat house, but maybe if I find a better one, but it was pretty good. Okay. So that's always, I'm going to chop up some nuts and throw them on top. She's going to be really happy with that. There's also, I mean, all of these are really, really good. I probably should give her a variety, but fuck it. We'll do that another time. I love you guys so much. The best thing to do is put these in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer so you don't eat them all. They do need to stay refrigerated because they're fresh, okay? That's it. It's called the Royal Treatment. I have no affiliation, no discount code. You know, I don't fucking do that. I just want to share the best of the best with you guys. And I will see you in the next episode. Now, if you do not make time for your health right now, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be forced to make time for your illness later. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.